What is going on everyone? Welcome back to our Seattle Krakens franchise mode. And again we are in the playoffs taking on the Edmonton Oilers. And I'm a little bit scared. Again, I am really scared for what Edmonton has in store for us. Because um, again, we're both very close. We just have a few more uh, overtime losses than regulation losses from Edmonton. It, it's really a 50-50 toss-up for who can really win. Um, but Edmonton is looking nice. Uh, we traded them Mike Hoffman earlier in the season at the trade deadline. That probably helped them get a little bit of a boost to play us here. So it's going to be Mike Hoffman's revenge tour. So I'm hoping to keep him quiet. And they had the only two... 100 plus goal uh, point guys in the regular season with Connor McDavid and Leon Draisaitl, so it's going to be really tough um, going after Edmonton early on. I'm hoping that they make the same mistake they did last year and go with Rodriguez, but their forward core is pretty nice. They they instead of moving Draisaitl on the second line like they did last year and have a one two combo, they're putting him on one line. So it's Leon Draisaitl with Connor McDavid and then Kaylor Yamamoto. This man had a big jump uh, from his previous season, going from about 25 points per game, uh, per season all the way up to an 88 points in 82 games like Kaylee Yamamoto is not one to mess around he's getting a nice development boost thanks to those that is a young first line that is ready to take over the NHL and lead the Oilers to a Stanley Cup um, going on through though they start to go after more depth all right they got the real deal James Neal lined up with Jumbo Joe Thornton and then Mike Hoffman's hot dogs on the left wing all right, it's going to be, that's a whole nickname, all right? That is literally everyone on the second line has a nickname. So uh, that's the nickname line, I guess, was what I'm going to call them. On the third line, it's Zach Cassian with Chris Tierney and Jesse Pulvey Harvey. Uh, again, Pulvey Harvey, I'm not sure if he's actually going to be sticking with Edmonton here in real life. But in here, even with his Joker smile, he is he is going to be probably a Nice addition to the Oilers if Kaylee Yamamoto doesn't work out long term, um, if he can develop a little bit more. On the fourth line, they got Josh Archibald with Carter, yeah, Carter and Dominic Simmons. Uh, so they got some nice depth. Um, definitely drops overall pretty drastically off of that first line. Definitely hard to beat. Um, but I think depth wise, we have their fourth line beat, we have their third line beat. However, I think it's a toss-up for the second line, and I think, and without a doubt, their first line beats the shit out of our first line. Defensively, they're much, they're, they're, they're worse than last year. All right, they're worse than last year. Uh, they got Esker Clothbaum with Ethan Bear, Darnell Nurse with Nicholas Hamhus, and then Mark Edward Vlasic with Ryan Graves. So they're not really have a star-studded defensive core, but they, they got enough to get it done. And then they're having Oliver Rodriguez again starting role. He's 74, friend starter. They're really trying to boost that potential up with Oliver Rodriguez. And then Frederick Anderson uh, is, I guess, backing up. But I, I would assume by the time we get to the game time, uh, Anderson will be the starter. But So Edmonton looking mighty fine uh, this year, and it's going to cause us some real issues. Um, injuries wise, they had none. We just have the we just have the Trevor Van Riemsdyk um, injury. So, but he's not going to be back until semifinals to finals in the playoffs. So, we might as well just kiss him goodbye. Maybe call up someone from the AHL um, if our AHL team gets eliminated. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's just get on into it. Uh, the lineups are the exact same. Haven't touched them at all. Uh, let's get on into the first game against Edmonton. See what we're going to pull off here. So we have home ice advantage and Zach Cassian already scores on Jacob Markstrom. Not even two minutes in. Seattle power play, nothing. Oh, boys. Power play again for Seattle. Nothing. Come on, boys. Edmonton power play, nothing again. So that depth for the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, oh, we score coming off that Edmonton Oiler power play. Ooh, Sonny Milano, our depth showing up. I told you, their third line, I mean, it's iffy. 
Their third line is definitely good, but that fourth line, Sonny Milano is going to be walking over them all day. All right, so we just got to keep this going. Come on, let's run with the momentum. We didn't get the power play goal there. Edmonton starting to take advantage. They have a long, long power play, but not able to capitalize on it at all. Seattle needs to put one in the back of the net. But no, Connor McDavid going to show up. But Jaden Schwartz! <gasps> Jaden! Oh, Archibald, you cuck. Oh, the fourth line, Archibald scoring. So, I mean, not a bad period. They had a long power play. They're out shooting us drastically. Um, so, not surprised by us being down by one just because of the shots. But damn, Connor McDavid, Jaden Schwartz getting it a minute later, and then another minute passes by in their fourth line. Just Archibald goes out. Oh my God, that is that is something. But here we go. Let's keep on. Let's keep going. Power play. Yeah, Jake Bean. Power play goal, baby. Oh, we killed that one off against Edmonton. Jacob Markstrom, thank you. Baby, and if at the five-minute mark, we're going to jump on in here, boys. You know, let's jump on in right now. And here we are, game one of the playoffs. Full, just under five minutes left to play, and we're doing a face-off from the center dot. Uh, Archibald going to come, come down the wing here. Let's get a hit. There you go. To Foley. Foley, pass it up. Pass it up. All right. All right. Kill clock. Kill clock. Pass it up. To Foley, pass it up. There you go. Over to Schwartz. Schwartz making a move, losing it. Oh, but Galchenyuk back to Toffoli. Toffoli, ah, oh, got blocked. Come on, Galli. Galli pinning, cleft bomb. Good, good. Get that puck to Foley. All right, you guys are alone. Out to front to Schwartz. Schwartz, go! Oh, Posted in. Jaden Schwartz walks right down the middle and sniping it home. Oh, look at that. Right in. Just walks right on the Edmonton defenders. Not even stepping up. And he has all day to pick where he wants to shoot. But making the Edmonton Oilers pay. Oh, giving Seattle the lead here late in the third two. Schwartz coming in, making himself known as a possible con Smythe winner. If Edmund, I mean, if we go deep, if we go all the way, because now we just got to kill some clock because we're going to start dumping it in. We're now backing up. Yamamoto going to come down, give him a little hit. There you go. Tomas Hurdle. Oh, gets hit off the puck by McDavid. And here he comes down the other side, poked away. Good. Got to keep it away from McDavid out front. <gasps> Thank you, Markstrom. Good glove save there. Good glove save. Jaden Schwartz, one goal away from a hat trick. Put him back out there, coach. Put him back out there. All right, a minute 23. We just got to protect this lead. McDavid versus Hurdle. McDavid wins it. Shot off and now wide. Schultz over to Hosang. Hosang making one defender miss. Trying to make another move. He does. Makes a third, but no good there. Hoffman trying to come in clutch late in this game, but no. Knocked off the puck by Schultz. So here comes Seattle. Kublik, Hoffman, Hurdle, Hurdle with it, shoots low, oh, pulling away goalie, Hurdle with it, out front, one T, uh, out wide, now we know that Edmonton's trying to pull their goalie, Is there it is, pulling their goalie, and the puck gets hit out of play, 30 seconds left, put Schwartz on the ice, put Schwartz on the ice, give him the hat trick, Give him the hat tricks. He's out there, boys. Schwartz is out there. The hat trick on the line. Oh, well, we're going to lose that face off. Hoffman with it. Oh, we got to keep it away. Missed one timer. Nurse down to Thornton. Poked out front. Schwartz with it. Gets it poked away. Now to DeHaan. DeHaan going to skate. Pass over to Schwartz. Schwartz shoots. Oh, it's just why. Come on. Quick. Give him the puck back. Give him the puck back. Quick. Oh, that's going to be it, boys. Block shot over to Galchenyuk. And yep, that's going to be it. As you are just going to pin it up against the boards. But that's it. That's one nothing in the series, boy. B. That's it. There we go. Oh, we have a lead on the Edmondson Oilers. 
That's what I like to see. I like to see us in the lead. To celebrate this nice last minute win against the Edmonton Oilers by celebrating with our fans. Thank you all for coming out. Now it's time for game number two. All right, so what a crazy first game. Nice, uh, nice late third goal by Jaden Schwartz giving us the lead. But Florida going to lose Gabriel Gagne, who I believe was a... Oh, no, he's just a depth guy. All right, all right. I thought he was on the first line. I thought he was our first line right wing. All right, so just a depth guy. Uh, who do we want to put there? Erickson, maybe? Centers. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to put Erickson right there on that last line. Perfect. So Erickson... Put him on the right wing on the fourth line. And now we're up 1-0 in the series. This is not something that I believe we had on Edmonton last time. I believe Edmonton got a lead early. Going up 2-0 in the series before we got a single win. Can we do the same to them now in game number two? Oh, and Blake Coleman. There you go. The depth again showing up the third line. Power play goal for Tyler Toffoli too. And Joshua Hosang puts it on top. Seattle coming in and out. Firing on Edmonton. Edmonton sleeping, boys. They're sleeping. And you know what happens in professional sports when the other team's sleeping. They get swept. Let's go. Let's keep the pressure on Edmonton. Let's keep the pressure on, Seattle. Who wants to be the next man to score? Power play, Seattle. Nothing going from it. All right. But we're keeping ahead in the shots. That's good. That's good. That's something we weren't even close to doing against Edmonton uh, in our previous games against them in last year. As that's the end of two. Still up three to nothing. Third and final period. Seattle, finish this. Finish it. Neither team scoring on the power play, but Jaden Schwartz scoring his third goal in this series. Oh, and of the playoffs, too. Seattle power play. Long one, four on three. Nothing comes, as I believe that's going to do it for this one. Yes, it will. We're going to win the game for nothing. That's a shutout for our man, Jacob Markstrom. 26 saves and a one thousand save percentage blake coleman one goal one assist and two hits gets second uh, star of the game and tyler Tafoli one goal one assist gets the third star so there we go our teams coming in deep depth and up front and goaltending bailing us out tim stoltz no injured mcl sprain may 12th no boys we're losing we're losing Tim Stutzel. No, oh, ho, ho. Put Leboivu in. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to put Raphael. Uh, where do you fit? Uh, that would bring it to a plus one, plus five. There you go. Uh, the, wait, 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 wait. No, scratch that because he was injured. Okay, so he was injured, so he's supposed to be on the first line. Okay. He's supposed to be on. So, scratch player. There we go. Yep, I want a scratch player. Switch Jaden on out with Lavoie. Oh, good, good. And then back in the center, we got. That wasn't Archibald. Who was it? Where the fuck is the guy? I guess it's you. There you go. Perfect. Lavoie up front. Holger Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, and Seattle. Oh, we have another. Uh oh. Defensive injury. Who was. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Justin Schultz. That's the biggest defensive loss besides Jake Bean. And do we have any defenders? I don't think we have any defenders called up. We're going to have to call someone up. That's something we were talking about earlier. Crap. Go to roster moves. Uh, back to edit lines. Okay, just put someone there. I just got to put someone there so that way they don't best lines me. Substituting all lines. There you go. All right. Now now we can go to roster moves. Call up a defenseman. Got to call up somebody. Let's 
see. Niku, LaJoy. It's just gotta be someone that. Uh, let's do. Let's do Nesterov. We'll call Nesterov up. Yep. Sergey Nesterov, welcome to the NHL. You're gonna get your first little taste of the NHL, too. So we're just gonna substitute you on in here. Who are we gonna substitute on in here? Vandalest. Alright, substitute you right on in. Now we gotta go up to the NHL. And Curly, you are gonna be substituted out for Nesterov. That's a plus one. Put Jake Bean up top. Nesterov should be a bottom player. If I put Jake Bean with Sergeyev, he gives everyone a plus one. I think that's how it's going to have to go. Nesterov with Yulsin Dahan, and we're going to move Jake Bean all the way up to for, up with Sergeyev. So Jake Bean proving himself worthy. Yup, Justin, uh, Justin Schultz are already already substituted Nesterov in. We're all good with Stutz, with uh, Schultz there. Move it up to game number three against the Edmonton. Uh, awesome. I'm glad Ralph is in. I already put him back in the lineup as well. Simulate on up. Game number three against the Edmonton Oilers. So far, we're averaging four goals against them. Now we're in Edmonton. Edmonton with home ice advantage. And there it is. Mike Hoffman making Seattle pay for trading him away. Ethan Bear making it a 2 nothing lead. Power play for Edmonton. Nothing happening. Three shots for Edmonton and two goals. Seattle killing Edmonton in the shot department, but just can't put one by Frederick Anderson. Four shots, two goals. I mean, Markstrom, you gotta, you kind of gotta play, you know, you kind of gotta make some saves there, buddy. I know you got a shutout last time, but there it is. Jaden Schwartz. Power play goal on Frederick Anderson and Jake DeBrusque third line showing up power play for Seattle finish it Give us the lead. Give us the lead. Who wants it? Schwartz? Schwartz to Foley? Anyone? Ooh, Vlasic coming in late in the second 45 seconds on the clock and Mark Edward Vlasic puts one by Jacob Markstrom, but we made it a hockey game We're down by one all right, our depth has shown up. We're out shooting them. We just got to keep the pressure on, get more shots on net. Let's go. Let's go. Third period. It's do or die time, boys. We want the brooms. We want to brust out the brooms. But you guys got to bury one for us. Make it. Go into overtime if you have to. Somebody score for us. Come on. Come on. Don't do it. Somebody. Jesse Pulley Harvey is going to finish it for Edmonton. Nail in the coffin. As Edmonton now going to make it a game. Going to make it a game. Frederick Anderson, first star. Two goals against uh, 30 saves and a .937 save percentage. Mark, Ardwer, Mark, Mark Edward Vlasic getting second star with one goal. And Mike Hoffman going to get... Third star with one goal and one hit against his former team. I mean that might that Mike Hoffman trade might might come back to bite us in the ass. But look at Schwartz, four goals in three games, four points. He's a oh my god, it's a beauty. That's a beauty. All right, so we're gonna put Cerniak back in here. Perfect. There you go. Perfection. Game four now. Last year we were up two to one. Uh, I mean they were up two to one going into game four. Can we repeat history just opposite by beating Edmonton here? In their on their home ice, Seattle power play. Jake DeBrusque getting a power play goal, but Joe Thornton, Jumbo Joe, the nickname line coming in, tying the game. Two minutes later. All right, but now. Halfway through the first, who's going to be the difference maker? Power play for Edmonton. Nothing comes from it. Seattle, come on, late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing. 
nothing. Seattle out shooting Edmonton 16 shots to 10. The nickname line and Jake DeBrus coming on out here first in the first period. Let's get on into period number two. So we now need Seattle to come in clutch. Very one. Put one by Markstrom. Come on, boys. We're killing them in the shot department. We just got to bury some opportunities and let Jacob Markstrom do the rest. Come on. Come on, Seattle. Second period, Seattle. Oh, nothing comes from it. Tied game after two. Now shots are 30 to 19. Seattle just peppering Anderson as we're going to this third and final period. Hopefully, one to one. And Tyler to Foley going to come in clutch, but power play for Edmonton. Could be a difference maker, but they don't capitalize. Power play again, Edmonton. Seattle, power play now. Could be a difference. No, no, Jumbo Joe comes in clutch again for Edmonton. Power play, nothing. As now we're going into extras. Jumbo Joe Thornton coming in clutch twice. For the Edmonton Oilers, what is he going to be able to do in overtime? Let's find out. All right, here we are in Edmonton game four. All right, we can go up 3-1 in the series with a goal here. We're in overtime as Se <sighs> Seattle don't do a dry side. Oh, McDavid, Reed Brown and McDavid going to come in and win it in overtime, tying the series for the Edmonton Oilers. That was a very quick overtime period, and I guess that's what Edmonton wanted. Win the faceoff, immediately go down, get some shots. Tied series. The series is all tied up 2-2 with that McDavid rebound goal. I think that's McDavid's first goal in these playoffs as well as Marsham is not able to react. That, that is some unfortunate play right there, boys, but... What can you do besides get on into game five, six, and seven? All right, so we lose game four thanks to Jumbo Joe's clutchness as we're going to lose another defenseman, just replace him. It's perfectly fine. Keep up the simulation, though. How's our AHL team doing as well? Are we... All right, final game in the series? Two to two? Oh, so this is the final game in the series. Our AHL team could lose here. Do we want to watch? You know what? Let's jump in. This is the final game of their series, round number one. We'll jump in, and we'll we'll do some simulation for our AHL team as well and see what their Florida Rattlesnakes are going to be or Palm Beach Rattlesnakes, uh, if you want to be real specific with their AHL affiliation. is Binghamton not able to get a single shot until the 7-19... 7 minutes and 19 second marker in the first. As there we go, Isaac Ratcliffe scoring on Corey Schneider. Oh, Corey Schneider. His career has led him to be in the AHL by next season. Lavoy. There you go. The prospects, Lavoy. But Salamaki going to score on Mike DiPietro. 2 1 hockey game as Florida is killing Binghamton in these shots here. For who is going to move on to round number two of the playoffs. Come on. All right. We're leading two to one going into the third. And we're, oh, Binghamton tying it up. Binghamton again, power play. Nothing comes. 2-2 two, two hockey game. Binghamton again, power play. Long one. Are they going to be able to capitalize? No. Florida, though, not being able to get really any offense here in the third period. Not seeing the shots move that much as we finally see some movement. No good there. Into overtime periods now. Florida power play. Nothing. Come on, Florida. Binghamton power play. Nothing comes from that. Which team's going to give an inch first? Power play, Binghamton. And Binghamton's going to score. Sanford going to score end it he's gonna end it right there as binghamton's going to eliminate the florida rattlesnakes in six or five in five ah fucking so close so close but with that injury with that ending we can actually replace 
uh, Sam's, uh, the Mesnikov, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, Nesterov. We can send Nesterov back down. Yep, send Nesterov back down. Go to edit lines, edit lines, yep, and we're gonna put Justin Schultz back into the lineup. Yep, he will be returning. I swear it. Alright, put him back in the lineup right here. Right wing. No, he's a right defenseman. Justin Schultz, there we go. Grab you, then replace you back up here. Jake Bean with Justin Schultz. Perfect. Sergachev with Schultz. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need to get that pairing back together. That's what we need to lead us to victory. <sighs> but here we are. Series tied 2-2. Two to two. Justin Schultz coming back. We are back on home ice. Are we going to be able to do it in front of our fans? Are we going to pull a victory? Or are we going to ruin our hopes as Miguel Sergeyev scores on Frederick Anderson? Yeah, six minutes on in. That's what I like to see Seattle. But Ethan Bear, another defenseman scoring for Edmonton. Power play for Edmonton, nothing. Tie game 1-1 one, one is Leon Dreisaitl going to score late into the first period. Ugh. Uh, 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 dry sidle, you son of a bitch. Come on, Seattle. We have to outperform their top line. We need someone to be a hero. Jaden Schwartz constantly stepping on up. And Thomas Hurdle. Oh, that second line on fire. Seattle now up by one. And Andrew Shaw. There it is. The fourth line. The fourth line scoring now. Is that going to do it for the second period? No! Oh, no! Darnell Nurse, 20 seconds left in the second. Scores, bringing Edmonton back to within one. Four to three is the score. Seattle, one goal lead. Can they protect it or will they widen it? Seattle getting these power play opportunities but not able to capitalize. Four to three. Come on, Seattle. Kill it. Kill it. Just waste time or score. Do something. Just kill some time. Just don't let Edmonton get any more shots. Two minutes. No! Kaylor Yamamoto going to score with less than two minutes left on the clock. God damn it. Uh -huh. Now we got to go into extra periods. God. All right, here we are. Game five on our home ice. We can't give them an inch as we're going to win the faceoff this time. Schultz. Oh, miss pass over to Foley there. As now here comes Edmonton Yamamoto passing over to McDavid. Someone tries to step up. No good. McDavid having to curl up to Bear. Bear gets hit. McDavid hit off the puck. Galchenyuk over to Schwartz. Schwartz poked off. Hit. Still with it, finally hit off the puck, I think by Dreisaitl, as here comes McDavid making some moves, trying to find someone up top to Dreisaitl, up to Clefbaum, Clefbaum hit, and off goes Toffoli, he's on a breakaway, Toffoli, five hole goal, Tyler Toffoli on the breakaway, Oscar Clefbaum giving that puck away, and Toffoli on the breakaway, able to open up Frederick Anderson's Five hole, and we walk away a winner. As now Seattle takes a th one game lead up in the series. 3 2 going on into game number six in Edmonton, where Seattle finally has a chance to win their first ever playoff series. Fucking get at it, boys. Let's get hyped. All right, what a nice win against Edmonton on home ice. Finally, we're going to get a chance to take the lead. Justin Schultz, fully he'll continue. He's been playing injured Florida, just best lines it. Tyler to Foley, eight points in five games, came in clutch last game in overtime. 
as now here we are. Chance to end it in Edmonton in front of their home fans. This is how the rivalry, the rivalry started last year, and we're here to spark things up and make it interesting. Come on, let's walk out of here with a big old dub. And we're getting close to the end of the first period. Anyone going to score? Difference maker, Jumbo Joe Thornton. Going to be the difference maker in the first scoring. With 2 minutes and 42 seconds left on the clock. He won game 4 for Edmonton. And now he's giving Edmonton a chance to win game 6. And force a game 7. Oh, Chris Tierney now comes out and scoring a Seattle being very quiet offensively. Come on, boys. Get some movement. Put some pucks in the net. Get by Frederick Anderson. No. Looks like Freddie Anderson might just steal Edmonton a game. Come on, low. There it is. Leon Dreisaitl, but Jaden Schwartz comes in a little shortly after. Come on. Justin Schultz. One goal game. Seattle. Can we tie it up late in the third? Come on, Seattle. Tie it up. Tie it up. Come on. No, Chris Tierney is going to make the difference as Josh Archibald is just going to seal it with that empty net goal. Ah, oh, Schwartz and Schwartz and Schultz. God. Ah, they gave us a chance. Now we got to go back on home ice. In front of our fans. We can't. We can't lose in front of our fans, boys. We can't. All right. Chris Tierney, two goals, no assists, and two stars gets the first star. Uh, I mean, two hits gets the first star. Jesse Polia Harvey, zero goals, two assists, and three hits for the second. And Zach Cassian, zero goals, two assists, and one hit for the third star. As now we're going to finally get on into game number seven on home ice. Seattle having a chance to move on to the second round. Something they have never done before. Winning a playoff series. As now they have a chance to do it on home ice again. I stay on home ice. And no! Oscar Kleffbaum coming out early. Scoring for Edmonton. Power play Seattle. Nothing. Power play Edmonton. Nothing. Penalty kill. Doing very good things for both teams. But now Seattle. We have to come back. Yes. Kubelik. No, power play Edmonton, nothing. Nothing come from it. Hold the lead. No! Connor McDavid scoring with two minutes remaining in the first. As Edmonton again having a one goal lead. After one, Seattle, we have to come back. We have to come back. Let's score some. Back to back. Quick momentum, quick goals. Before they know, Jumbo Joe, you son of a bitch. Connor McDavid, you fuck. Mike Hoffman, oh, the game, it's getting run away. But Kublik still coming out, trying to score. Spark some kind of life for Seattle. Somebody score, Seattle. We need another one. We need another one. No, Josh Archibald now scoring. As now we got Gorgiev in net instead of Markstrom, Seattle. Let's go get some momentum. Score on the power plays, you sons of bitches. Edmonton, nothing. Oh, as Edmonton is going to walk away again. Victorious. Fucking 6-2. They came back in the series. You fuckers. Oh, ha, ha. Mm, they came out early and they came out swinging in that second period. Fucking... I meant to go to the three stars, but <sighs> yeah, what can you do with a fucking McDavid and Dreisaitl lineup and Jumbo Joe Thornton scoring all over the place? He wants a cup, and he knows this is his last season. Uh, let's see, let's just let's advance on up. We'll advance on up uh, to the end of the playoffs. We'll take a look. We'll take a look, I guess, at the end. See who's winning it. Uh, just best lines. It's cool. Uh, who is going to be the Stanley Cup champion? Who's it going to be? Just best lines it. Uh, view draft class. Sure. Let's see. We'll see what we can get. Any uh, any hidden gems? Any franchise players? 
Nope, still only the Rissianen, dude. Any gems? No, no, okay. Uh, goaltenders? No gems. Alright. We do got some starters and backups. Maybe some low elites up top. Not bad, not bad. Tim Stutzel's back. Good. His best lines it again. Again, who is going to be it? Trevor Van Riemsdyk best lines it. Come on. Who is it going to be? Who is the Stanley Cup champion going to be? And it's the Pittsburgh Penguins coming back to restore their dynasty, winning the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby gets another one. And Quinton Byfield getting one as well. So Edmonton, I mean, they went deep up against the St. Louis Blues. Blues versus Penguins and Blues losing five. Edmonton, I mean, Edmonton went deep. I mean, you got to give them credit. At least they fucking went deep in the playoffs after beating us. But that's a, it's a little upsetting still to see. Looking around the league for awards. Oh, it hasn't updated still the Florida Panthers. All right, still, has, still the Florida Panthers. Okay, let's simulate on up to the draft end. Then we'll take a look at uh, rewards. Uh, Cleveland Monsters won the Calder Cup. Okay. New salary cap. Cool. Just finish, finish, finish. God damn it. So many. We had. That was it. That was a good. That was a good playoff run by our team. That was so. That's disappointing. It was really disappointing. Uh, but Stanley Cup goes to the Pittsburgh Penguins. President Trophy goes to the Washington Capitals. Clarence S. Campbell Bowl goes to the St. Louis Blues. And the Prince of Wales Trophy goes to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Individual awards. Art Ross goes to Connor McDavid. Hart Memorial goes to Jack Eichel. James Norris Memorial goes to Dougie Hamilton. Uh, Lady Bing goes to Evgeny Kuznetsov. Uh, Calder Memorial, Eli Tolovainen. Uh, Conn Smythe goes to Evgeny Malkin. Vesna Trophy goes to Andre Vasilevsky. William M. Jennings Trophy goes to Andre Vasilevsky. Bill Masterton goes to Drew Doughty. Jack Adams goes to Fichaud with the LA Kings. Frank J. Selkie goes to Patrick Bergeron. Ted Lindsay goes to Jack Eichel. Maurice Richard goes to Connor McDavid as well. Going to AHL awards, I'm just going to quickly go by. You guys can see who's doing what. Uh, cool. And going over to team awards, here you guys are as well. All right, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. Next uh, next episode, we're going to be getting on into the draft in the offseason, re-signing our players. And now that I'm getting a hang of our, our lines and our chemistry, I think next season is it. Next season, the Stanley Cup. I'm calling it right here. You're hearing it first. June 3rd, 2022. GM Hayes is announcing... That Seattle Krakens are going to be taking the 2022-2023 Stanley Cup. But until next time, guys, see you all later. Bye-bye.